Today I'm going to show you how to make eggplant rollatini. This is one of my favorite eggplant recipes to make. In a lot of restaurants you'll find that eggplant rollatini is typically fried and dredged in flour, but today this recipe is a little different. We bake it in the oven instead with no flour or oils at all. It's lighter, a little bit healthier, but still tastes just as flavorful and delicious as the classic recipe. So let's get into it. So the first thing that we wanna do is prep the eggplant. I have two beautiful eggplants here, and we just wanna cut off the top stems. We wanna cut it thin. So if you're experienced with a chef knife, you can do this on your own, and I'll kinda of show you. So you can cut off the bottom stem too, and just kinda of sit it up. And then you wanna cut it into 1 fourth inch slices. Just like that. Lengthwise, right down the eggplant. A lot of times I do this with a chef knife, but if you have a mandolin slicer, you can also do that. Um, but these are pretty accurate to what I need them to be, so I don't really use it unless I have a lot of eggplant to cut. So next we wanna salt the eggplant. Eggplant is one of those vegetables that has a lot of moisture in it, and so in order to remove some of that moisture, we have to salt it, which really draws out that excess water because if you don't do this, the dish can actually end up being really watery and we don't want that. So the salt is really nice in, again, drawing out that extra moisture. And we're just gonna let it sit for 10 minutes with the salt. So just a small pinch over the top. So now that the moisture has come out of the eggplant, we're gonna dry it with a paper towel. And if there's a lot of salt on here, you only wanna do a pinch, but if you did a lot, just make sure that you wipe off that extra salt, just because we don't want it to over salt the whole dish. Next, we're gonna get the eggplant ready to bake in the oven. This is what's gonna soften it so that we can roll it up. And we're just gonna brush it with a little bit of oil Okay, so now we're gonna bake these in the oven at 400 degrees for just 10 minutes. So while the eggplant's cooking in the oven, we're gonna make the ricotta filling. This is what the eggplant is rolled up with. First ingredient is ricotta cheese. This is gonna be the base of the whole filling. And since this is a creamy and mild Italian cheese, we're gonna use some nice, rich Parmesan cheese to add the flavor. So we're gonna do a half cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. And then we're gonna do two garlic cloves. And I like to use the same type of shredder because it finely minces the garlic. That way it evenly distributes throughout the whole mixture. If you don't wanna use fresh garlic, you can also use uh, about a teaspoon of garlic powder. Next, we're gonna add an egg to bind the ingredients together. And then we're gonna do 1 4 teaspoon of salt. Then 1 half teaspoon of black pepper. So a dish like this that has lots of cheese in it, especially ricotta, I think that fresh basil is just the perfect ingredient to cut through that richness and bring just light, fresh flavor. So we want about three heaping tablespoons of fresh basil. And you can also use fresh parsley as well and a little bit of fresh oregano. Oregano can be pretty pungent in flavor. So if you do use fresh oregano, which I love to use in this, I would do about one to two teaspoons of it, but no more than that. But fresh basil and fresh parsley you can use a lot more of because it's more subtle in flavor. Okay, now we're gonna mix the ingredients together. Now that this is finished baking, we'll roll these up with some cheese. So before we get our eggplant rolled up with the cheese, I like to get my baking dish ready. So what we're gonna do is just put a good amount of marinara sauce. You can use homemade or your favorite store-bought or even a spicy arrabbiata sauce. And just spread a good amount on the bottom of your baking dish.
That way, while we roll the eggplant, we can place it into the baking dish and just have everything ready to go. For rolling up the eggplant, we're gonna just take about a tablespoon or a tablespoon and a half of cheese. This is actually gonna depend on how big the eggplant is. My eggplant had a pretty wide base to it, so it's pretty big. Um, some eggplants are a little smaller, so you might have to change that ratio of cheese just depending on how big or small the eggplant is. And you're just gonna place it on the bottom and roll it up. And just like this. And then we'll place that in our pan with the sauce and continue with the rest of the eggplant. Before we put this in the oven, we have to top it with a little bit more sauce and cheese. And then next, we're gonna to top it with some mozzarella cheese. I like to use fresh rather than the pre-shredded just because it has a lot more moisture and so it melts beautifully. Cheese, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. You have like the boy. And then we're gonna to top it with fresh Parmigiano Reggiano. This again adds that rich, delicious Parmesan flavor on top, and it also browns the top nicely once the cheese is melted. Okay, that looks like enough cheese. Now we're gonna cover this with foil and bake it in the oven for 30 minutes, and then we'll bake it uncovered for 10 minutes. So the rollatini is done. It smells amazing. Okay, we're gonna take it out. Okay, so now this is done in the oven. We're gonna taste it. It looks amazing. It smells so good. Okay, so I have my taste testers here. I have my little cousin, Victoria and Drew. So. It's amazing. Thank you. I'm so excited to try this. Yeah. <laughs> it, you don't even taste the eggplant. It just tastes like pasta. Yeah. With sauce. Well, that's always that's a really good. good point. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of reminds me a little bit more of pasta. Yeah. It eggplant. does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I would rate it like a a nine. A nine. A nine. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh. I'm going 9.5. 9.5. Okay, wow. It's These really good. Very generous. Why don't you give it a try? Very generous. It's really good. Mm -hmm. The eggplant's super tender. <clears throat> um, I love that it's not heavy or filled with like the flour and oils that a lot of the restaurant ones are. Even though I love those, this just feels really light, even though it has a lot of cheese in it. It just still is a little bit healthier and lots of flavor from fresh basil and the Parmesan cheese. And like I, I said, the herbs in there. yeah, and you can add more herbs like parsley and oregano, like we said, um, or even spinach to make it even more healthier. No. So, no spinach. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Spinach does not taste good. Man. She do would not, never. Do not taste this. If I put spinach in this, you would never know. So, That's true. you would never know. Spinach was in the dish last night, by the way. I like spinach. Did you know that? You didn't know that. It was a ricotta filling, so. There you go. Sneaky. She had no idea. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us again. I hope you and your family love this dish as much as we do. And we'll catch you on the next recipe.